Hello everyone! So now I'm going to show you how I make big, big, big lists of items that I end up posting. This is something that even if you don't do bulk, it's good to have a list of items because it really helps you kind of learn about products and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to start from the very beginning. This is going to be from scratch. I'm not going to make a full list because that would take too long for the video and it wouldn't there's no point because I can just show you with a smaller version of it and it'll work faster the computer will run faster and everything will be bueno so all the tools that I'm about to use are available for free which is awesome okay so we're going to start by finding a search that we like on walmart.com I've talked before about the supply search, which is this one. You just search for supply, and then it has tons and tons of good items in it, um, especially if you just enable two-day shipping, and you can see that even with two-day shipping items alone, there's like almost 100,000 items here, which is awesome, but a lot of them are cheaper. But I've already done a video about supply in this course, so we're going to use a different video. Let's do something like, what's a category that I want to post that I've thought about posting recently. I've thought about posting pool stuff. I've thought about posting Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff, sheds. Uh, but sheds wouldn't have very many variables here. So whenever you're having trouble trying to figure out what to post, I tend to, I get frustrated because I get in like a, a writer's block kind of where I just sit here and I look at the screen, I don't really know. A good thing to do to kind of brainstorm that is to just like get in the habit of being like, okay, search for something, shed, okay, what, what comes into my next, mouse, okay, and just search for it and see the results. Don't worry too much, don't think too much, act. Get in the habit of acting. And then even if it's just silly things like desk. Um, office. Okay, that office is starting to be more feasible because I'm looking for a list of products that I recommend for bulk, which would mean two-day shipping, and then the price format will be $5 to $35. Cool, awesome. So there's 5,000 results. We're only going to pull like 200 of them, okay? Because I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to make it pretty simple and quick. All right, so I'm gonna be using a couple free Chrome extensions. The two Chrome extensions I'm gonna be using are URL Grabber and Session Buddy. URL Grabber grabs all of the links on the current page and Session Buddy allows you to open multiple links at the same time. So you're gonna see in a second how we go about doing that, right? So we're going to go to page two and each one of these pages has 40 results. I want to pull, let's say, 200, right? So that means that I need to open five pages, each of 40 results. So I'm going to copy this URL. And it's important that you go to page two, because that puts some information in the URL right here that shows the page number, right? So we're going to open Session Buddy. And then I'm going to go up here and click on Import. And from here, we're going to paste one two, three, four, five. So we just put in five URLs and they're all to the same thing at the moment. They're all to that second page of the search. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the page numbers, right? So we're gonna do page one, page two, page three, page four, and page five. And then we're gonna click save. And now we're gonna double click here. So now, Session Buddy has opened all of those searches and it's going to take a second to load. Normally, I do this with like a hundred tabs at once. So you can see how that might take a little bit to load here because generally it's quicker the more you do it once. But for the purposes of this video, I need to keep this short and efficient. So I'm just going to show you this with a small sample size. Okay. So did everything load? Everything's good. All right, everything's good. So really quick, before I get too much into this, I need to talk to you about some basic multi-tab navigation in Google Chrome. It's really important that you get used to using your keyboard instead of your mouse, because your mouse takes much longer. So Control-Tab goes to the next tab in the list. Control-Shift-Tab 
goes to the tab behind that. See? Quite cool. So that is very, very, very useful. All right? So now let's talk a little bit about what we have here. We can see, OK, this is a page of 40 items. All of these items are between the price of $5 and $35. And they are all two-day shipping items, right? So we go to the next page, Control Tab. And we can see here it's the same thing, except this is page two of the search result, page three of the search result, page four, and page five. Okay. So normally I would pull the maximum, which is 1,000, so I'd do 25 pages at once. But like I said, for this video, we want to keep it kind of short and not too laggy, so I'm only doing five. Now I'm going to do some voodoo magic here, and I don't want to confuse you too much, so I'm going to try and go pretty slow. We're going to click this button in the top right, and this is going to extract every single link on the page. That means these links and these links and links up here, but also these links here. So let's click this once so you guys can get a sense of what it looks like. Okay, that was really quick, right? This is a list of every link on that entire page. This isn't very useful, is it? Because we don't want every single link on the whole page. We only want the links that point to items. Well, luckily, on walmart.com, you can search and filter out the items by doing slash IP slash. Look at that. So now we have links to each individual item. Ooh, isn't that cool? So I'm going to get rid of this real quick. And what we're going to do is open this page up for each one of these five tabs. So we did it for the first page. So now we're going to do it for the second page. Extract, wait for it to load, Control, Tab. Extract, wait for it to load, Control, Tab. Extract, wait for it to load, Control, Tab. One more, same thing. Okay. So now I'm going to do what I call weaving. So I don't need this tab anymore. I don't need the tab that shows all the photos and has the Walmart page itself. All I need is the list of items, right? So what we're going to do now is click Control and W, and that's going to delete the current tab. And then we're going to type in the slash IP slash thing here. And if you guys don't understand too much what this is, it filters out all the links and only shows the links on the page that include the text in this box. So only links to actual items contain slash IP slash. If you're using a different source, there's going to be some text that identifies items versus search results and all those other links, but it's going to be different for each source. Okay, So we're going to copy this. And then Control Tab to the next one, Control W, Control V, Control Tab, Control W, Control V. So you see how you just boom. Now we have five pages of search results. So there's roughly a hundred items in these five pages. So I think I made a mistake recording this. And oh no, I do have Sublime Text three. Okay. Sublime Text 3 is a bulk text editor. What that means is that you can edit multiple lines at the same time. It's really, really good for big, big databases, right? So we're going to open Sublime Text and put it on the side here. And now there are ways to make this process faster. But I'm going to show you the slow manual way, because I want you guys to be able to do this with free software, OK? Keep in mind, all of this can be expediated greatly. Like if you know anything about using a crawler or you're a programmer, you can literally have a program where you just paste the search result and it gives you every single result. You don't need to do any of this manual work. But if you do this manually, then you have a solid understanding of how that list is created. right? So all we have to do now is copy the entire page, right? click here, and paste, and then Enter. And then Control Tab, next one, copy the entire page, click here, paste, and enter. 
And we're going to scroll out so it looks more like a, a single list. And also, I need to change my selection. And we need to, I need to change the format. Format, 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 wrap. Here we go. Uh, sort lines. I don't want it to wrap. Ba -bum. All right, well, that didn't work. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. Each one of these lines is a whole link to an item, right? So we're going to keep going. We copied the second page, and now the third page, and then the fourth page, and then the fifth page. OK? So we no longer need these five pages here. So now we can open this up. And look, we have, at the moment, 330 items. This is because whenever there is a customer review for an item, it produces a duplicate link. You can see that here. So we can really quickly get rid of this in Sublime Text by highlighting the whole thing, clicking Control F, and then clicking Alt Enter. This is going to find every occurrence of the phrase hashtag customer reviews. And then we click back, and it deletes all of them. So now we have a list that has a lot of perfect duplicates, right? So all we need to do is select everything, click Selection, or actually click Edit, go down to Permute Lines, and then check Unique. This will get rid of any duplicates. And look, guys, 200 items. Oh, that was quick, wasn't it? And now, if you really wanted to, you just paste this into Hydra. So why don't we do that, actually? I'm going to post these items. So what we need to do first is append a little bit of text at the end of each line. And the line that we need to add is this right here. It's hashtag skuopt colon Walmart. This makes skugrid function better. It means that SkuGrid is only going to look at the prices of items that are sold by Walmart. It's going to ignore marketplace sellers. If you don't have this, when Walmart runs out of stock, SkuGrid is going to think the item is still in stock because a marketplace seller is selling it for a higher price. We want to avoid marketplace sellers. So this short piece of code, or piece of text, this string of characters, is going to fix that. But we need to put it at the end of every single one of these lines. It's a good thing we have a bulk text editor because it's actually quite simple. We're going to select everything, go to selection, and then split into lines. From here, we're going to click end. And that's going to put each cursor at the end of each line. And now we just paste. Look at that. Now every single one of these lines ends in Scoo opt Walmart. Perfect. So this list is now ready to be entered into Hydralister. All right? So we're going to copy everything. Now we're going to open up Hydralister. Guys, we're like basically done. Isn't that awesome? And now we're going to go over here. Going to click on Launch Hydra. And from here, we're going to go to the Batch Lister. We're going to click Paste. And then we're going to click Launch. And then in a second, we will get, boom, queued 200 items. That was easy, guys, wasn't it? This is why I love bulk. Yeah, each item is way less likely to sell. But I spend so little time posting items that I can focus on other things. And it teaches you so much about what sells. Whereas with optimization, you can earn, it, optimization is more profitable than bulk. But optimization takes a long time to give you experience because it takes so long to post each individual item. And you don't get any experience from thinking about what to post. You get experience from posting items and seeing the results. So if you make a bulk store, then you post a whole variety of results. And you don't need to post as many as I do. I'm insane, and I have a huge eBay bill, and it's terrifying. Don't post 100,000 items like me. Just experiment with a couple hundred. But have a variety of items. Because then you're just going to be shown what's in demand based on the time of year. You don't have to think about what to post. You can just post stuff and then see what gets attention and then post optimized items based on that. 
So you don't have to do product research. You can have your items do the research for you. Woo! All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.